Midnight M Munitions Run. Oh yeah, I, I remember this mission. This is, this is a mission on Naboo where you can't crash into the walls or else you die pretty much instantly. Alright, destroy all the AMTs, drop ships, and under seven minutes. Oh boy. The resistance leaders sent to be here, but th there's no sign of them. They should be here by now. They must have run into trouble in the canyon. Now what? We go through the canyon too. Are you crazy? I'm overloaded with munitions here. Don't worry, I know the way. Just follow me. Lead the way, Reese, and stay close. I can't see a thing. Follow me. I remember this place. Just keep me alive, Reese. Alright, just in case I don't mention it, um, I lost twice so far. I'm, I lasted less than a minute the first time, then like two minutes the second. So it's a it's a pretty tough mission, I have to say. Alright, I'm gonna take out some of these tanks first. Actually, I, I, I can't let this dropship get away. I have to take it out. Even if it makes means taking some damage from these tanks. Good shot. All right. Managed to take out the dropship. Now I just need to take out all these goddamn tanks. Unfortunately, as I've previously established, tanks are assholes. They have 360 degree firing arcs, and they're just a, a bitch to take out. Down the next canyon, Reese. All right, cool. Just ignore those stat bikes. I'm gonna try and stick close to the ground, see if that helps. They're coming head on. They seem to have an easier time uh, shooting things in the air as opposed to on the ground. All right, yeah, this seems to be working. It seems to be. There we go. And how are they shooting me? How do they target me from beyond the cavern wall? I guess I can do the same thing. So I guess I can't complain. Alright. I think there's a drop ship. Yeah, there, there's one. Yeah. There we go. You spend two torpedoes on that. There we go. Ready? Don't run into me. God. Yeah, I, I try to escort your ass over here, and you just like you just plow right into me. It's like, well, if Riss isn't out of the way, then that's his problem. Asshole. You know what? You're on your own, dude. This is where it gets narrow. Be careful, Ready. I'm not feeling lucky today. All right. So this is where the um, the artillery platforms start coming in, and they hid one right there, like assholes. I'm gonna try and get them all. I can't guarantee I can remember where all of them are, though. But yeah, they yeah they they just hid one right here. Look at that. That's that's rude. It's your, your first time through this. You probably won't be able to take all of the. You probably won't find them all. Is what I'm saying. Because they they just hide them in these these jerk spots, really. All right. Are there any more in this canyon? No. Okay. Yeah. So here's another one. Yeah, even even Reddy's like, yeah, I didn't even see those guys. The escorts are in trouble. Bravo ten, you made it. Those missile tanks are deadly. Take no, them not. down, Reese. We'll do. Take all my shields. Oh, oh no, out. not Reddy's shields. Whatever will he do? We'll just regenerate the shields. <laughs> Great shot. There we go. Got all the artillery spiders. platforms. Cool. He's right behind me. So I think I need to clear out all of these droid fighters. Luckily, Reese has um, stronger blasters than Vana's crappy, crappy little blue things. I think someone actually explained what they were. 
and how they're able to they're destroying our base hurry and how they're able to um home in on enemies like i think he said there were like micro micro torpedoes or something something ridiculous like that and i was like you know that just sounds dumb i like in the game they're just like blue things that home in on the enemy but some fan, some fan Arthur out there decided to make them micro torpedoes. That's, you know, there's a there's a lot of hand waving in in Star Wars, like in the game, like in games and in the movies. Like you know how how Han Solo like described like the speed of his the speed of Millennium Falcon, like you can make the Kessel Run under 12 parsecs. Like that was that was just like that was that was dumb writing. Or at least it, it probably was. Structure's going down. Our base is being overrun. Gotta get rid of these tanks. But you know, someone someone building. came along and decided to make the Kessel run something with like black longer. holes or something. It's it's sorry, it's really hard to concentrate with my um, tank shooting you in the face. Alright. I need to focus on not dying. I need protection over here. No, you don't, Reddy. You probably do, right but I need to take I'm out this thing. It. Mission failed. God damn it, Reddy. Well, time to try again. I think I'll meet you in this canyon. Are you serious? Down the next canyon, Reese. Are you serious with me right now? The best way was to, to not even try at all. Oh, man. Alright, let's see if I can do this this time. I forget what I was even talking about. Oh yeah, I was talking about like... Um, like fan fan writing, basically. Like, authors basically make, making excuses for bad writing in the movies and like in the games like like in in New Hope like Han Solo was like oh I can do the Kessel Run under 12 parsecs the parsec being like a, a unit of space a unit of distance not time so someone came up with the explanation of like the Kessel being a, a group of black holes and crap like that where faster your ship is the easier you can, the closer you can cut it to the black holes. So he's so fast, he can do it under 12 parsecs. Yeah. But it, it's just like an excuse for bad writing, really. And like, really, it's just like the a similar kind of thing for the, um, what is it? For Vana's like blue micro torpedo thing, like that, that's, doesn't that sound dumb to anyone else? You know? Alright, I need to take out these tanks. Oh no, a battle droids. What? I collided with a battle droid. Apparently the battle droid was the size of a tank, and I freaking collided with it and got annihilated. My god. Alright, time to do this again. Let's see if we can do it this time. Without dying, hopefully. Yeah, as many of these tanks as we as humanly possible. And then focus on the gunship. Steady. I mean the dropship. Alright, here we go. Here we go, we're gonna do it this time. I swear to you. I died like twenty times so far, but I swear we can do this. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Battle droids all over the place. You act like they're even a threat. Look at this. I can just mow them down like nothing. Alright, what am I supposed to be doing? Taking out these scarabs? Okay. I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Awesome. Was that it? Yes! <laughs> yes, I beat the mission! Oh, man. Well done, Reddy. Reese? I can't tell you how much we needed those supplies. Thank you, sir. Listen, we need all the help we can get. We're outnumbered and most of our people are in prison camps. Can you help us? Anything you need, we're here for you. I hoped you'd say that. Welcome home. Oh, man. Even though it won't be like six minutes and three seconds for you, uh, that was like an hour of recording for me, just desperately trying to finish the mission. I died like 20 times, seriously. Huh. All right, I think I'm going to end off the recording here. So um, it might be a short, short recording this time, like a short video. So anyways, this has been Super Man. I want to thank you guys for watching, and may the Force be with you.